What we're going to show you today is the two greatest exercises that we invented here at CoreXL to fix shin splints and also ankle sprains. And before we go in to the exercises, we're going to show you a testimonial from one of our athletes. Did shin splints start happening for you? Um, about two weeks ago. And how bad were they? Pretty bad. So she's got a major weakness in the groin, and that's going to that's going to tie into the anterior tibialis having to overwork from a lack of strength from the groin. So that's going to also affect the shin splints. All right, so you just ran up and down. Normally that would hurt? Yes. Hurt bad? Yes. And now when you're running up and down just there, was there any pain? No pain at all. Are you impressed? One session? Yes. So when athletes start getting shin splints, okay, obviously the shin bone hurts, but you're gonna get a lot of pain underneath into the anterior tibialis here, okay? So the last thing you wanna do, and what a lot of trainers and therapists do is, okay, let's strengthen the anterior tibialis. It's just gonna make it worse, okay? What you need to do is you need to build the support structure to take the pressure off the anterior abelis and also the stress that's going on to the front of the shin bone here. Okay? And how you do that is by training inversion and also eversion. And we're going to talk about the post tibialis, which lies in back of the shin muscle here, okay? that's responsible for inversion. And we're also going to talk about eversion and the perineus. And we're going to show you the exercises in order to fix shin splints. And also we have another link at the end, a very popular video on YouTube on the ankle. You can apply those, the concepts on that video to the exercise that we're gonna show you here, okay? Another important thing to keep in mind with ankle sprains and shin splints is you have to have the hips strong too, okay? So if your hips are weak, okay, if you've got a weakness in the glute minimus, medius, and also in your adductor chain, what happens is every time you go to run and step, you don't have that support. So more force is gonna be placed on the shin and onto the ankles. So you have to fix the hips as well as the ankles. And we have a rehab app called Corex 12. It's 12 exercises to fix your entire body. Five for the hip, four for the shoulder, and three for the core. And if you want to learn more, we have links in the details of this video. So what we're working on here is basically eversion of the foot. So the foot, if you notice here in this video, look at the foot, it's rotating out this way, okay? And the main muscle that we're concentrating on here is, is the perineus, okay? And the perineus, this is the brevis, and this is the longest. So we're basically concentrating on here, but specifically we're really focused up into this area here, and we're developing this part of the perineus. Now, when we do this exercise, we are gonna be pointing the toe downward here because the perineus is also plantar flexion. So it also does this. It also works to raise the calf up. And what that does is it also eliminates a little bit more of the extensor digitorium out of the equation here because the extensor digitorium also works to dorsiflex the foot. So pull the foot back. So we want to eliminate dorsiflexion out of this exercise completely and that's why we're gonna be a little bit more in plantar flexion so we can completely isolate this muscle here and also part of this muscle here. Okay, we're gonna be working the outside of the ankle. This is about a 12 inch box. You can also get a bench or a chair, okay? But 12 inches is really good height because the key with this is you don't wanna have the leg right underneath you. You also don't wanna have it straight. The best angle is just, you see how the ankle is about this far in front of the knee, okay? You wanna be in front of the knee with the ankle. That's the key but not like this. Get Really get it out so you're here. Now, all you're gonna do is just put the band in like this, okay? Stabilize your knee, don't let it move. So if we're looking at it from this angle here, see how I hold that knee? See how the knee's outside the ankle? You don't wanna be like this, okay? This, you're not curling, okay? So you're not like this. You're actually gonna be, keep it nice and low to the floor and then you just Hook it around just like that. I slide it like that. I'm not up here like this. I'm, not, I'm trying to get rid of the anterior tibialis here. Keep it nice and low and just work on just like that. 
Okay, see I'm not going like this. See how the knee's moving out? Stay here, roll, roll. You'll feel it all through this side, right through there. So this is foot inversion here, okay? Uh, so the foot's rotating in this, this way. And what we're concentrating on, this is the, the primary mover here of uh, foot inversion. This is the uh, post tibialis here. And this is what we're really concentrating and isolating when we're using these exercises. And these are the muscles here that you're gonna, t you target more when you do those the, uh, the, the foot pushbacks. This is what really targets all three of these. So with this exercise that we're going to do here, it's just mainly isolating this muscle here. And yes, you're going to be getting some of these muscles as well. But the main concentration is the, uh, the post tibialis. Now the key is to make sure that this leg isn't at 90 degrees and it's not completely straight. Okay. The best angle we found to train at see how it's just it's going to be just ahead of that knee there okay just like that that's about how far out in front you want it from the knee you don't want it back here you want it here now with the band okay we got a nice setup here okay if you don't have this put the band around maybe just get like a little towel just so that it doesn't dig into the side of your foot all right and now the goal with this exercise you want to feel this all through this chain right in through here Okay, that's where you're trying to feel it. And all you have to do is, is curl the toe. Try to have your big toe very close to the ground. So when I pull through, see how low that pulls through? But you wanna really make a nice arch here. And then all you do is, is you just turn in like that and stay arched. And what I do too is I'll have kids, when they're first starting out, I'll have them just hold their knee in place so that all they're doing is moving from the ankle. And it's really that simple, okay? Here's what you don't want to do. See how high, how, how high up that is? Point, keep it low, okay? We want to take the post tibialis, I mean, sorry, we want to take the um, anterior tibialis out of this so you don't want to pulling up and going like that that's why we have to point down so we can completely isolate that area